Hello everyone, this is Trajan Caesar and welcome back to YJ Pro. Today I'm going to be going over my Dark Lord deck profile and then I'll play one match with this deck to demonstrate my abilities with it. Sorry I haven't been recording for a long period of time, I've been having a lot of technical difficulties and a lot of personal things going on in my life. Like, just trying to find a job has been really hard and really stressful. I'm just giving it my all. And I can't record currently on my desktop computer, so I'm recording this on my laptop because the mic stopped working. And there, there's been certain issues with, like, editing my videos where my recording software, when I did it on my laptop recorded in the wrong format I can't edit it my videos are too long so the the converting the to convert my videos from one format to another it actually cuts off parts of my videos so I figured that's a little too much work I'd have to work around to get everything to work exactly perfectly the way I want it so I've decided to re-record these videos for your benefit and for my peace of mind in trying to edit these videos and get them to be the highest quality possible. Now let's begin with the deck profile. I run three copies of Dark Lord Ixchel. This should be the card in the thumbnail of this video. It is the primary searcher of the deck. You discard this in one Dark Lord be able to draw two cards. It's the main draw power of this deck, and it has some neat effects of being able to pay a thousand life points to activate Dark Lord card effects from the graveyard. We run two copies of Envoy of the Beginning. Nice power card, very reliable because all the monsters we run are either light or dark, and even if we can't summon it, it's a good target for trade-in. We run three copies of Superbia. This helps basically make most of our plays by being able to summon one fairy type monster from the graveyard whenever it's special summoned itself. This can be very useful because not only can this fetch your Ixchel or really any other Dark Lord monster, but you can also special summon Christia from your graveyard with this effect. Then we run two copies of Zerato, which is another Love Late Dark Lord. And it's a very good card in itself because it's Raigeki on legs. All it requires is discarding one card to be able to blow up your opponent's field. Now, here's probably our actually our main boss monster of the deck, Archlord Christia. This card is so easy to summon in this deck. And it shuts down pretty much any deck that relies on special summoning. So if my opponent doesn't have any normal summon outs to this card, they're in a very tight, tight spot. We also run two copies of Dark Lord Nasten. It allows us to activate card effects from the graveyard. And it's an, a fairly decent card. It's another Dark Lord. Unfortunately, it's level 7. So we can't use it for trade-in. But it's a nice card to go into with decent stats. Then we run three copies of Hecatrice to search out our two copies of Valhalla. The reason we're running this is it mostly to search out Valhalla, but it's also a light target to be able to summon BLS. And three copies of Valhalla can get pretty bricky. Because once you have one on the field, you really don't need another unless someone blows up the other one. So running three of the cards to search it and only two of the cards is arguably the best ratios to run this. There's some debate as to whether you want to run three copies of Valhalla and two copies of Hecatrice or 
three copies of Hecatrice and two copies of Valhalla. There's actually a fair amount of debate online about that. Then we run three copies of Allure because this deck needs all the draw power it can get and most of our monsters are going to be dark. We run our standard one copy of Raigeki because you should always run Raigeki in either the side deck or main deck because board wipes are just so useful and so important that I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. We run three copies of Dark Lord Contact. Allows us to special summon our Dark Lords from the graveyard and helps basically get their effects off. And we can also pay a thousand life points with some of our Dark Lord monsters here to be able to activate Dark Lord Contact's effects from the graveyard. We run three copies of Trade-In because most of our monsters are level 8. So it's a very good draw power card. Now let's get to the actual main search of the deck, Banishment of the Dark Lords. Adds one Dark Lord monster from our deck to our hand. And it's just a very good card that can keep recycling itself and keep searching out your deck. Then we run two copies of Twin Twister because spell and trap removal is always good. It's never not going to be needed. You you never know what you're going to be playing against, so it's always good to have it and ne not need it, then need it and not have it. Valhalla helps us summon our fairy monsters that are high level from the hand. And there's a very cute trick that we can do with Valhalla and Archlord Christia, where we can just special summon Archlord Christia like it's nothing. First turn and lock down most opponents. Then we're running two copies of our Storming Mirror Force because battle traps are always useful. I think battle traps are a little underrated because no one expects them. They're 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 very good at dealing with problems people don't expect. And because very few people are running spell and trap removal, because who runs traps anymore, this can win you more games than you expect. Then I'm running three copies of Evenly Matched, the best trap card in the game right now. It just clears out an entire board like it's nothing. So, you, you have no reason not to run this at three. Now the extra deck, we're mostly never going to use this extra deck, so you can pretty much put whatever you want in it. I put in a lot of useful rank eight synchro, not synchros, XZ's monsters. Mm. And in the side deck, we were running three copies of Ash Blossom and two copies of Ghost Ogre because hand traps are awesome. Three copies of Called by the Grave because countering hand traps are just as awesome. One copy of Twin Twister and one copy of Valhalla in the side deck in case I want to change the ratios a bit. Then I'm just running the Solemn Brigade, because the Solemn Brigade's just really good. Now let's play my one match.
We'll see. Actually, let me just double check something. I want to make sure that I actually set this to match and not single duel. Always good to check that. Now, hopefully we won't be waiting too long for a match to start up. Always when I say it, it's always when I say it that I instantly get someone to come accept my challenge. Well, I guess paper covered that. We're gonna go first. Not bad, not bad. I'll use Superbia first. Eh. Looks like we may be in a bit of a... I don't like the idea of banishing an eggshell, but what are you going to do? I am playing a Let's see here. Oh, for hire. Huh. I guess that cards. Oh no, my Storming Mirror Force. As though I don't have another set, what shall I do? Watch him out. Wait, this garden just OTK me this turn. That would be my luck. I called it. I called that. Yeah, yeah, I called both. Let's see. Hmm. What do I side? I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna take out my Stormings. And run two Solemns in their place. Uh, let's see if we get... Oh, and I'm quite satisfied with this. I am very satisfied with these events. And we even have a plan B if this doesn't work. That's fine.
Now let's see what he has to do. Because I think for higher special summon, they're not like Yo. They can just normal summon for days. Let's see, attack? So far, so good. Okay, I'll attack directly into your mirror for Ed, hit me with something. I guess that was bait. This might seem like a waste, but I think I've won this. Yep, I won. Uh, I think I'm pretty satisfied with what this deck's been able to do. <sighs> the hand traps. really like his hand traps. So what I'm thinking is this guy probably doesn't have much good back row. Now there's maybe a mistake. It can still very possibly be a mistake. But I think I'll be fine doing this running two of my called by the grave. And he's deciding to... Little does he know I have evenly matched.
Okay. Okay. So let's do this. Okay, that's been dealt with. Here we go. What? Did I accidentally do something? I think I misclicked. Okay, I'm just going to give you a warning. I'm gonna have to just... Seriously? Well, at least this guy's... Okay. I think we're in a good place now. Took us a while to get here, but we're in a good place. It's more than a deck, I promise. Oh, and I have a backup. 
plan in case this doesn't work. We're really turning the stool around, or And we win! That was a good game. I enjoyed it. I really did enjoy this game. It was such a fun game. Anyways, I'm glad you enjoyed my video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. This is Trajan Caesar, signing off.